No, if they slip up this year, Arsenal, it's going to be United. Because watch, City. watch. Well, like next year, you're not going to be able to tell who's going to win. Manchester City are going to be Manchester City. Arsenal, after this form of the season. Chelsea, they're definitely going to sack this guy. They're going to bring a manager that can work with this massive squad that they have. Liverpool, who knows? They must sign some, some players. Well, it's going to be a hard one to call. Uh, uh, next year. Tottenham. Sorry, well, I, well, I had to drop. I had to leave it there. Hey, 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 hey. Tottenham. Tottenham, as usual, as usual, but Tottenham, you're going to be saying fourth, fourth. They're going to go fourth. That's good, fourth. Fourth, you signed half the, half the world? Fourth, fourth. Hey, by the way, we are back Still in the fourth. top four, by the way, guys. They've been aiming They've been aiming for fourth for like uh, 15, 20 years. I always get it, nigga. Huh? <laughs> How's it going, people? Welcome back to the Galacticos podcast. Uh, Ravo's back. Ravo's very happy because he's back because uh, apparently I only, I only call him, apparently. When we lose. That, that's the rumor that's going around, but he's here today. Sharif is back uh, since. Uh, should we address it? Wallahi, before, address before we it, go? Address it. Should we address it? The last address time Sharif right was here, him and Yaqub went one on one. Wallahi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of things have changed. I mean, I still stand with my thing, you know. He just wanted more Arsenal players in the in the mid season uh, mm. combined excited for the EPL. That episode, you're never going to see it. It's trashed. Uh, <laughs> Don't ever leak it. Out. Oh, no that's way, that brother. episode, huh? That's that episode. I want to be forgotten. Lost files. Yes, Wallahi. And all because of that, da- Dad was here. That's why. <laughs> That part you gonna edit out or are you gonna nah, keep it? He's gonna keep it. So Allah, you gonna keep it. Yeah. Dair, Dair, it's time for our fourth debut, Allah. Come on, Dair. <laughs> and the last person is Midris. Of course, he's here. People are saying he only shows his face when yeah, they Man City. When they win, but he's when here. They win. Regardless, we're here again, and it's been <laughs> consistent now. Very consistent. Before we go, going a reminder to like the video, and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Boys, let's begin. Let's begin with the Arsenal game. Arsenal versus Leicester City. Why are we not beginning with the final, cuz? No, 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 we'll uh, see. We just want a trophy. Has it, can I tell you something? We just want a trophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Has we just want a trophy. Do you guys relax? Huh? Do you understand? Do you understand like main events and like. Yeah. That's the main event, cuz. Build up. Yes. <laughs> a trophy is a main event. Hold on, hold on, but hold on, hold on. you don't start with the main event. You start with the main event. <laughs> is that what? And then we move on. Nah, well, this is the undercards. We're doing bigger yeah. uh, okay, the undercards and then we'll build up to the main fight. Hold on, hold on. We'll move on to that soon. But let's start with Leicester versus Arsenal 1 0. Gabriel Martinelli is the one who scored uh, to keep the Gunners uh, on top of the Premier League. Yeah, but they had a goal that ben was disallowed. Yeah. They, they had, had a goal that was ben disallowed. Ben the goalkeeper. Apparently it was a handball or something. Oh. No, no, he grabbed the goalkeeper's hand. He grabbed, he grabbed his the goalkeeper's hand. Because that, that game? It was, it was very soft. It wasn't, I don't think it was... Uh, no, no, it was it was it was like a scuffle in the box, bro. Yeah. This is the first time Trossard and Martinelli started together, right? Yes. Yeah. That was smart. That was Trossard smart. started as a number nine. And I feel like he affected the game big, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ketty is not an option. Huh? Ketty is not... No, Ketia's juice is, is running out. That's what they be, they've been saying. I like, feel like, like I said many weeks ago, Allah Was he dropped Ketia because trash. of because of the, the last performance? Because I think he needed to be rested for just resting. You know what I mean? How can you have Ketia starting every game? That is crazy. But he he plays a lot of games, bro. He's he hasn't scored in like he only scored the last time he scored was against United, I think. Latarelli, yeah? No, 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 no. Oh. And Ketia. 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 The last time he scored was against United. Yeah. And we had games against City. Stuff like that. He wasn't. He wasn't. Uh, he was absent those games. Yeah. He, can, he yeah. can't he even. The there. thing is, it was good that they didn't start Nketiah because you know why they needed the pace up front, yeah. firstly, yeah. and plus Nketiah, he's not going to be able to score headers. They got Suda there. They're a defensive team. I know he's not clinical. Yeah. Yeah. That's the issue, bro. Mm. Nketiah. He's not clinical. He's good at. He's good at holding up the ball. He's he's very feisty off the ball. He's always get. But but in terms of being clinical up top, and even even the way he, even his the way he handles the ball. Like just you know, going forward, it's very messy. It's very messy. Like he's te- technically, he's just not, and that's why uh, G- Gabriel is a big miss for them. Because Gabriel, yeah. as as well as as well as scoring, he's very good, um, very good off the ball, uh, off the ball and linking up play. Yeah. And that's why I think a big part of of, of Martinelli not um, possibly not playing as well as like obviously how he was at the start of uh, start of the season is due to Gabriel yeah. because I think th- that chemistry between them two. Impacts yeah, impacts yeah, that, was, that, yeah. that that um that front three a lot. Is anything. he ever coming back? What's his name? Gabriel. He is. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like two weeks away. Two weeks. He's, he's coming away. back. He's but overall, cut to that game, Arsenal played very well, bro. They dominated the first they, half. They, they, they dominated. Yeah. They dominated. Shout out to Jorginho. I hey, I don't think Chelsea they played fans, well. Thank you for no, no, Arsenal. No, no I, I think it was a it was a it wasn't their best performance, man. No, no, trust me. No, it was a good. No, no, no. Leicester played horrible. Leicester played horrible. They only took one shot in the whole game. You got to give credit to to Arsenal. Played very well, bro. Mind you, that they had this. They had a disallowed goal, somewhere. and I actually thought for a moment once they had that disallowed goal. Even the penalty, Saka's penalty. Yeah, I actually thought their momentum was going to drop a bit. 
And I thought Leicester was actually That was a up. penalty, cuz. Yeah, that it was. was. It was. 110% that was, that was a penalty. penalty. Yeah, yeah, but what was in uh, party starting? Is that, is that an injury as well? Yeah, he just came back from injury. Yeah. That yeah. was his yeah. first game yeah. uh, coming back from injury. As yeah. Jorginho, the last two games. And yeah, he's actually done all right. So that's Unreal. why. Yeah. So like, that's why he's, he's probably. Now he's actually, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't get your take on this. What, what do you think of that signing, by the way, so far? For me, when I saw it at the start, I said it's last minute. Like, obviously, but as well, the best thing about football is you being available. Party, as you can see, I seen a stat the other day. All, all, all the games he misses. All the games. All the games. Big, uh, big six teams. Like mm. he was. Yeah. So is he I mean, doing so it on purpose? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Huh? Is that what you mean? He's doing it on purpose. I don't it's know, but the games that he's missing, like it's not. You know what I mean? It's not adding up. But Jorginho, when he he came in, and now you can see a lot of coaches are now like praising him. Like yeah. Before yeah. Pep, Arteta wanted to get him for a while. What? He stayed. He stayed uh, in Chelsea for like with three managers. Yeah. He almost mm. won the the Ballon d'Or as well. So you can see him. I think the best thing about him is he's keeping the ball moving. I think when you look at it as, as like individually, th- that signing itself, like you, you don't think it really makes sense. But when you look at it broadly, the fact that obviously they have Partey starting and they need someone as a backup, but just not any sort of backup, a backup with, with, keep some, yeah, some experience, a class, yeah. Yeah, yeah. with still some experience, yes, yes, yes. especially at this point of the season yes. where they're obviously battling against us to win, to win the title. They need someone with experience. Someone that obviously. Are you guys battling against them or are they battling against you? Uh, no, it's a battle. It's a battle. Cause you gotta give. Cause me straight up, I'm gonna give credit to. Credit you. Who's chasing? Who's doing the chasing? No, no, no. But Arsenal, the chasing? Arsenal is is a whole new team this year, bro. Straight up, bro. The way they and they like as a team, they're actually playing much better than us. And the sca- and the scariest thing is they're all young as well. They're the youngest oh, yeah, team in the Premier yeah. League. And I so think they're gonna develop. Mm. And they're the grow. youngest team in the Premier League. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's the thing I was about to say with Eddie and Ketia. The only thing is go going on for him is young. So he's still got experience. Like just, just no quickly on that Jorginho point, the way that Arsenal reacted that in, for, about that signing, it mm-hmm. seemed like like he's gonna be, he's actually gonna make the team go the other way. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But he's actually been all right yeah. uh, so far. He scored an important goal the other week as well. In Chelsea, his form was being very. It was, it was very that bad. was spiraling down. But anyway, the best, yeah. the best at his prime were him and Conte were were in that midfield, and they were when they won the Champions mm. League and Tuchel. That was his his best, and mm. now you can see it with the. It's sort of a similar system as. And, um, yeah. and that's Kaiser. what I'm saying, Azam. You got to look at it in the broader view, like how obviously is this? How integral is he going to be to the? Like, is he going to be a starter yeah, consistently or not? He's, no, he's, he's, a he's, a squad, he's a good squad player. He's a good squad. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. never know. He's, he's a ro- he's a rotating it. player. Because I wouldn't even say he's a squad player, bro. You know, if they're bringing Thomas Partey, who's a six. They can play Jorginho. Jack can, go, Jack can go on the bench. No. Jorginho is good on the ball. No. Well, I'll tell you that. Jack, Jack has been brilliant. Bro, Jorginho on the ball no, is proper. The only thing about him is he just can't be the last midfielder you have. The guy, the guy lose the ball in deep. But if you have, like, Pate cover, but I'm telling you, Jorginho unlocks defenses. Now, the only reason why I disagree with that is because in, in, in Pate and Jorginho, you have two ball-playing ball playing kind of midfielders. So with Chaka, you have someone that's... Well, look, he, he, he has some, a little bit aspect of passing into his game, but he's more off the ball, more hungry, more putting in the last minute tackle. And he's available. And he's available. Always so, available. No, no, but, but, wait, but, but yeah, yeah, but, but what, what we know Pate most for is his, his ball playing game is amazing, bro. Yeah. He's, he, especially in tight, tight, tight spaces. Like, yeah. In tight spaces, you can just get out of it very easily. So I think mixing those two attributes together is more is more. But what realistic. changed Shaka this year is was it was it was yeah, them late runs. He's he's more yeah. of an eight now than a six. Shaka. For me, it just doesn't it, do, it doesn't. It, yeah, but for he's, me, you get what I, my point. But uh, for me, two ball playing midfielders together, it just doesn't it doesn't add up. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm more with I'm more with Mohammed as well because Shaka's been having a brilliant season as well, bro. How can how can he just pull someone out I like that? You gotta, you gotta give him respect for the turnaround that he Georgie, did. Georgie because yeah. Good and and when it's big games too, Wallah he steps up, bro. And he plays for that for that top, bro. Wallah he on the ball. I'm telling you. Yeah, he's, he's a captain with right. a, that captain pass made, the, yeah. pa- the pass he made to Saka, how he just cut through the whole Forever, defense. He breaks lines. He's actually Bro, got a dangerous pass. And he comes from a team that's like into counter-attacking yeah. football. Yeah. So instinctively, he likes to go forward. Whereas Shaka is not as like quick finding that pass, you know? Yeah. Thomas Partey oh. plays very deep, you know? I would, I would rather like have... an outlet passer. Yeah. I would rather have a, a ball-playing midfielder like Partey mm. mixed with a, 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 a player like Xhaka where defensively, he can give you everything, mm. so he can win that ball back. Yeah, yeah, but but I would rather. But I mean that, that, combi- that combination. That got combination them, makes got more, them where they are more right sense yeah. than a jo- two ball playing midfielders, you know. But anyway, to the game, Arsenal played very well. Mm. And mind you, when they had that disallowed goal, like I said before, I thought Leicester was going to gain that momentum all of a sudden because mm. throughout that game they played horrendous. Yeah. But at that particular moment, I actually thought they were going to gain momentum. They're playing. But home. I feel like that's the nah. biggest difference at Arsenal this year. And that's what nah. I was going to say. Nah. The fact that they k- Just they, like they that. kept even the fans back. They kept their, the they time. kept their cool as if nothing happened. They were missing. They recovered back. I again. feel like I feel like Leicester were missing James Madison that game. 
yeah. they had no creative yeah. output. That I feel like James Madison Muhammad in that game would have made a big difference. Yeah, but but that Leicester team is not the same, right? It's so bad, bro. Allah, it's yeah, re- really bad. I tell you something. It's 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 bad from from the midfield backwards. Like they don't have no defenders, cause the Leicester before the Leicester before you like you you couldn't you couldn't like even think of like a guarantee type of three points like before. Now it's kind of like that, bro. Like in a way. You know what I mean? And like right now, the are three points above the relegation zone. Yeah. It looks yeah, like, it looks like they're going to have a, a battle on the thing. I was actually, I was actually Brent, watching that Brent game Brent saying, uh, like, I was actually, I actually did it like, watch the City game in that morning. I was actually watching the Arsenal game thinking, you know what, Arsenal might, the most, Should maybe, go? maybe get not even look, just get a point. Mm. That would be good for us, even just for them to just yeah, get a point. It didn't look like that at all. And it didn't look like that at all. I was so disappointed, bro. I was like, what the hell is this, man? And Sharif, just one, just before we move on from Arsenal, um, Everton lost to no. We don't have Hassan in here, so we're not, we're not really going to talk about Everton. But you guys are versing them on on Thursday morning, I think. Um, I, how do you think that's going to go? It's at Arsenal's home ground. Last time we played Everton, it was an ugly game, really ugly game. And I feel like the only the way Everton plays react is the the gaffer that was his fir- their first game. Yeah, in yeah. that's yeah. why they the momentum. Like that. Yeah, the momentum. But watching them against Aston Villa, they were shocking, bro. They were shocking. That that game style that they have with that with that what's his name? The coach, the new coach, everything. John Dyche. John Dyche. Yeah. John Dyche. Yeah. that guy, he's got ball playing players doing things that th- they don't, they shouldn't be doing. But yeah. Yeah. That, that rattles you, but that's good for him. But that you, that you, that you guys didn't know how to respond yeah. to that. Exactly, yeah. because yeah. I would not no experience. Yeah. You see, you, you can just see it. They were first in your face. Onana was was running up and down. Also, some of your players they didn't turn up that day. Like yeah, Martinelli well, and what's his name? Uh, even Odegaard had a had a trash oh, game. Oh, that and it was a home game too for them. Don't forget that. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like Arsenal at home is really good and um hopefully. I, w- I want to see Party start this game because we need we need someone like Party in the midfield. A like big part of a, 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 yeah, a big, a big part of that game that that last game Party was Ars- there, I felt like Ar- yeah, Party wasn't there. And I felt like Arsenal got sucked into that game plan of Everton too. Yeah, they played where their they, style. Yeah, yeah, they started getting sucked into their yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly where they where they and now I feel like now moving into obviously they're gonna play in the Emirates. Mm. I feel like now Arsenal's gonna be more calm. I feel like you'll see a reaction out of a the Arsenal ball plays. Yeah. But this game is gonna go either two ways, bro. Either Arsenal's gonna get three points mm. or it's gonna be a point. It's gonna be a draw. Yeah, it's going to be one of the other. It's going to finish 0-0. I can't see. I can't see. Uh, Everton going points. forward is horrendous. Yeah. Yeah. I think they got the least amount of uh, goals in the league. Because Everton... Yeah. Would they have no yeah. strikers. Yeah. Everton, they just rely on... on um, they just hit you on the break. Bismillah goals. They hit you on the break? Yeah. <laughs> Inshallah goals. Yeah. Inshallah goals. Yeah. Inshallah goals. Yeah. Something close to that one. Yeah. Onana runs around. Calvin Phillips, it deflects off two players. Yeah. Then they run. They've then they all kind of attack. They've got the midfielders. They don't care about looks or nothing. They no, just want to run after people. Wait, Onana, right. yeah. Onana, he puts in a shift. Yeah, yeah okay. the way they go on, like uh, they don't care about no haircut or nothing. They go in there. And now I don't know if they're going to have Calvin Lewis because that guy's he's always injured. Yeah. He's always in and out. So the he's guy that was Kurtz, yeah? Huh? Is that him? Has an end. What are you trying to do, has an end? We're already getting uh, ads disabled. What are you trying to do, has an end? No, no, no I, saw, I saw him before, so I saw him wearing Kurtz. What kind of question was that, has an end? It's not a skirt, by the way. It's a kilt. <laughs> no, 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 I saw him wearing a skirt. They're just no, no. very loose shorts. No, it's not a kilt, cuz. I know what a kilt is. Only a dangerous man that can out of, I can think of is Awobi. He's the one that, that has a little something, has a vision. He's decent and he's been having a uh, really good. A draw, a draw, or, or a draw for um, the, that game, or, or win for Arsenal. I think it depends who Arsenal start up front. Let's move on. Let's move on to Liverpool's game. Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. Liverpool still can't get, seem to get a win after that horrendous performance against Real Madrid. Finished zero zero. Their form is still. Not and the improving. referee saved them because uh, well, the well, referee well, saved them that well, game. Yo, how long are we gonna the keep corner, defending? What do you call it? Even uh, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> the extra time, cause. The extra time they had a corner, Chris Pass, they protested because after the game they wanted to play it, but because yeah. that team, when I tell you, is dry, bro. Trent Alexander dry, bro. Arnold, oh my god, bro. Like. Trent had a bad game, Nabi had a he has horrendous bad game, game as well. Week Chaz, Alexander Alexander Arnold. Arnold. We keep we keep mentioning Trent's name as if it's something new, Allah. Yeah, because we like that guy, bro. All he does is whip the ball in, <laughs> and like Hassan said, he just keeps <laughs> whipping the ball in and whipping the ball in, even though no one's there, he still whips the ball in, Allah. His, his game, pl- yeah, but I feel like we're Klopp now. You trust all these players, and now you can see like it's not, yeah, like then they're not they're not giving him. The and I've never seen a coach backed up like like Klopp from a team. Cause like doing this bad. But look what he no, did. No, 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 no. Because I've never, club. I've never seen a, a, a coach backed up like that. No, no, no. The only coach I know backed up like that was Simeone. Well, like <laughs> Simeone, he can he cannot do anything. But the whole, the whole Liverpool, year? you can just see how the de- like the midfield is dead, bro. The midfield is dead. The midfield is dead. You yeah. can see every single time. Dry. Look, they they do they bro. do need. Uh, yeah, oh, they, they did a complete. Mod- 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 Modric was running a mark on on, yeah. on uh, Fabinho. Because Van Dijk, he's just all over the place. Oh, just, bro, they need a refresher. There's no good players. They need a refresher. Yeah. I think Trent needs someone uh, sitting on the bench that can actually challenge him. I don't think they have another right back on the bench at all. 
So that's why James yes, Milner, James. which is <laughs> that's not an option. But he guys. had a good game, yes, Milner. But, but, like, but let's give credit yeah, to yeah. Crystal Palace, wallah. No, not really. They didn't have. They didn't no, have a like, single. No, no, they didn't, they, they didn't have a single shot on target. Know, like, they, like, but well, like, they still pulled that off a win. Because they're playing at home, they should get more than this one. Like. I know. I know. Yeah, I guess. I guess, I guess it's weak Liverpool don't side. Don't forget as well. that's that's a Crystal Palace without without what's his name, uh, Wilfred Zaha, bro. Yeah. yeah. And, you, and, and we know and we know how much of impact that guy has on that team. Bro. But yeah. Both teams huh? needed that win. Both oh, yeah. teams needed. It. I thought I thought Liverpool would have bounced back easier after that Real Madrid loss. Normally, a Premier League team like that, no, they you gave lose. up. They gave. They actually gave up. No, you so what, where do you think? So where do you think? Uh, where do you I think? Klopp, seen it once from from Liverpool. Where do you season. think Klopp's future lies now? Right now. Nah, it's over. Wallah. he enjoyed. He's gonna. He's gonna finish the season. He enjoyed Wallah. his reign. Wallah, he enjoyed his reign. So Mind you, keep in mind this is a season now. Where actually, with, there's nothing that he's got out of. But you look at Liverpool. Nothing. You, you, there's players like Oxley Chamberlain, bro. I haven't even seen this guy playing how many years, and he's still in there. Like you know what I mean? It's, it's clear. It's clear what's gonna. Be. He's gonna finish the season. He's gonna have a big summer, and if he starts off like he's finishing off right now. He's gonna go. There's no way they're gonna sack him right He's not gonna go. I'll be very nah. surprised if he sees the next season. One. He will, he will, he will. Like Easy. He will see the next season and the one after that and the one after. I think I'll Henderson's gotta go, Milner's gotta go, all these yeah. dead, but dead, dead players yeah, gotta go. They're one of the oldest teams, uh, Liverpool now. Yeah, because yeah, the, the, the game style and the plays they have is not adding up. Yeah, it's finished. Uh, they that's still have some players returning from injuries. Diego Jota, I think, just came back from injury that game. Luis Diaz, I don't know how long he's, he's out for, but the biggest L was was not um was not stacking that money. not stacking that midfield properly, bro. Yeah. Everyone that they got in, they got in. I feel like they got in. They already finished for life. Well, Players like Keita, they brought in Arthur Mello, who was already injured. He came in injured. Yeah, he, he, he actually, he what do you mean? They gave him a surgery. They, they, they surgery straight away. Even him, bro. Even even so even yeah. Thiago's coming in half. Yeah. With how a half leg. even played? Yeah, well, uh. yeah bro. Keita, Keita, Nabi Keita. Come on, bro. What's this? Yeah, that's what I'm what's saying. What's this rubbish, bro? Yeah. And you're thinking you're going to compete against uh, I, teams like Sydney? I ask you a question. Do you think uh, they bring in Jude Bellingham problem solved, though? Nah, nah, Shaib. Well, I reckon uh, they need more than his that. His name bro. is not Shaib. He's going to deny it later on. So you know it's on camera. Well, like, he's going to deny it later on. <laughs> who's Shaib? Well, like, let's, 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 who's Shaib? Well, like, who's Shaib? Well, let's just who's Shaib. I don't know. He just has a face of Shaib. But listen, anyway. But... Yeah, well, I. But they even not just the midfield, yeah, bro. They need they need that defense to, to get sorted out, bro. Go plays like Gomez. Some plays they gotta they gotta go, bro. Yeah. Come on, big big bro. summer, big summer. Play. Sell a lot like of Gomez, players. Well, like. go. no, 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 honestly, I Win believe Jude Bellingham problem solved. Yeah. Liverpool, yeah. Liverpool, yeah. Liverpool. What are we saying? Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Yeah. You, you got like Fabinho guy. that's gone. You got Henderson that's gone. You got Thiago that's gone. Naby Keita that's gone. Mm. Matip is gone. Matip Joe Gomez is gone. Is gone. Gomez gone. Come on, they guys. have Phillips as well. As a this is this gone. is actually a new what project. Is available. This is called, this, this is called the project. Mm. Well, it's a rebuild. Yeah, of it course. has to. He has to have a big, big summer as well. If you and, and, and not just a summer like like Chelsea, where they just where they just splash just for the sake of no. splashing. They I brought Kukurea no. in. They brought Kolobali in. Liverpool are good at recruiting. I mean, bro. Liverpool are really good at recruiting. This is actually like proper. That takes few years. Yeah, but proper. You got to know what you want, bro. Nah, Liverpool is really good at recruiting, bro. They yeah, get very good at recruiting, yeah. They suit their, their, their yeah. style. I reckon Jude Bellingham. Well, like, he's that guy. Right? Well, well, you're, 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 you're a Dortmund fan. We all know this. Just leave, leave it at that. Jude Bellingham. <laughs> let's move on. Well, like. I'm actually sick of talking about this team. So let's move on. Uh, we've got uh, Bournemouth versus Manchester City. Finished 4-1. It was a very... It looked like a very easy game. Not much to talk about Erling now. Haaland. 27th goal of the Cause season. Because that game, bro, was just... Cannot replace him. <laughs> well, like, that's oh, such no, bullshit. No, no. <laughs> Remember when he was crying, he saying we can't replace uh, Sergio Aguero? We cannot replace well, like, those were crocodile tears. Well, but, just, just just survivably, but just survivably, so alive. But I got to tell you, you can never replace Aguero. You can't tell me that 27 goals, I don't, really, I don't really care a lot. They replaced Aguero. I don't, I don't really care. Yeah. Where was, no, no, where, no, no. But they replaced the girl. Because when where was he in the big games? Why why is he scoring against Bournemouth? Oh, stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. 27 goals. No, no, I'll, ask a, I'll ask a question right now. Let me ask a question right now. Okay, go. Name three Bournemouth players. What do you mean? Three players. Name three players from there. Because I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to justify you that Bournemouth. I'm actually I'm about to criticize how bad they are lie. Cause that 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 game was such a was such a hammering, bro. Not just like by the 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 score line, but just the way we outplayed them was just unbelievable, bro. <laughs> are you bragging? I mean, sure. No. <laughs> are you bragging? Are you bragging about beating Bournemouth? No, no, I'm not Come on, man, look at the ass. Guys, he's no. just analyzing the game, bro. Leave him alone. <laughs> the way we destroyed them. <laughs> I mean, you're getting the kick out of that. But I'm just saying that, like Bournemouth were just like extremely so bad to the point where when we were scoring, I thought their fans were celebrating. We said that's how loud the crowd, the crowd was, bro. Well, I'm Azim, bro. I was so happy to get that last goal bro, on light. Just, yeah, yeah, bro. They're here for vibes, bro. Like the Premier League. Yeah. It's unbelievable, bro. I don't like. Well, I'm Azim, that, that, that game speaks for itself. Well, I have nothing to say, but Phil Foden had, had was, a good game. Uh, Phil Foden,
No, no, yeah. really. No, 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 no. It's been really shocking. Wallah, it's been really shocking. Wallah. Very, very self. And I, and I criticized yeah. obviously the last episode, but this this game he stepped up. But to, it's against Bournemouth, yeah. So we need to, we need to see him playing I well. I'll ask a question. Okay, Phil Foden was playing bad, yeah. Why is he stopping out? Why is he taking out Morris when he's one of your most informed players? No, no, that, that I don't agree with. That guy, I that, I go, that I don't agree with. But maybe it's a Champions League thing. I don't know. But, do, but Guardiola, Guardiola, is, 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 he's, he's known for experimenting. He's a genius? He thinks he's a genius. That's yeah, why I know. He's, he's doing experienced. It. Champions League finals. He's no, experimenting. I said experiment. Stop talking over me every time because actually, that's what I'm saying. saying. Experimenting, I'm saying. He's known for experimenting, rotating players in and out, Champions League's upcoming, obviously. So you know what? Rick Lewis, did he have a good game? Who? Rick Lewis had a good game. Let's see what I did. Well, I actually had a good game. Don't be a smart ass, Hassan. Well, I had actually had a good game. A very that good guy, Gundogan, well, he needs to get his flowers, bro. That guy, yeah, is yeah, yeah. Cost, he's, he's 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 been very. I feel like he was, was going to become a fantastic coach as well. No, no, and to people, people, a lot of people don't even know his backstory, bro. Like the amount of injuries he's had, and not just like yeah, since he got to from door. This man, is not yeah. just small. This is not just small injuries. We're talking about like serious dislo- injuries, yeah. dislocated patella, and you know what I mean. Some serious shit that the players don't usually recover from, and. Why does it seem like he's the most consistent player and in the team? He is, right? He actually is. And he, pl- it feels like he plays the most games for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, he, he's, he's always on the starting lineup. Two seasons ago, when he took over the Premier League, and our midfield yeah. much yeah, it's, it's it's looks scoring like every yeah. week. And yeah. our midfield is much more comfortable, with, and the ball flows a lot more. Like I don't know if you guys, what, what city like without Gundogan and with Gundogan, it's a big difference for life. But it's only Bournemouth, and apparently Pep Guardiola has won eleven out of eleven games against Bournemouth. He's never done that before against any other team except yeah. Watford, by the way. Bournemouth, actually, I, I don't remember like. Maybe Norwich, but like uh, uh, another Bournemouth team that's like this. Yeah, yeah like another life. team that's uh, come up and just got the lotish, lotish, lotish every game like Sheffield, this. Sheffield, Sheffield, like the two. Oh. Sheffield, West Brom. Yeah, like, that, that, like there was a moment where they were actually like. They were okay. Two, yeah, two well, like, they were actually like competing and they were actually putting in an effort. Are they coming back now? The Bournemouth, the Bournemouth is shocking, bro. Burnley's coming yeah. back, yeah. Can't I can't even say anything. It. Like, I actually can't I even say Burnley's first. Nothing positive. Yeah, Burnley's, Burnley's, first. Burnley's first, but I think uh, Sheffield is second, I think. Oh, isn't the company managing Burnley? It's coming to the Premier League. Well, what are you anyway, we got the easy three points from them, and we move on, bro. You've yeah, got, you've, you're you're going to move on to uh, playing against uh, Newcastle next game. That's I don't know. I've, I don't even know if I could call that a challenge, bro. That's a big no, game, bro. Newcastle, big game. Newcastle hasn't been playing. Uh, uh, Etihad, uh, Etihad, or uh, they don't. But they had this thing like no, no, Etihad Stadium. But bro. they had this thing like Tottenham, Newcastle, when they come play us. They had this thing where they just they 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 turn up, their momentum goes up. They start, and obviously when, when we played them last time, it wasn't an easy game, bro. That yeah. was a very difficult game. We went but down they're to the for bad run, But they're bro. coming off a bad form. I agree with you, Allah. Mm-hmm. So horrendous, horrendous. it's going to be very interesting how but they... San Maxima against Rico Lewis, we're going to enjoy that yeah, one. Yeah, Allah, Allah, Allah's peak. We're going to enjoy that. Did shit. anyone see that? What San Maxima did? <laughs> <laughs> Well, last time guy went to the shop, so like, <laughs> didn't we see that? I saw that. Yeah, but it well, doesn't matter, bro. Uh, this, uh, he just dances and dances and dances, <laughs> and nothing happens. Now, Allah, the last game, he had losing anyway. Walker. He's quality, bro. He's quality. Yeah, rugby's because without no end product, I'm is rubbish, bro. So you reckon you guys are going to win the league or what? City. Yeah, we win the league. We, we, we say this every week. Our experience like that, will yeah. kick in, I reckon, at the end. But yeah. No, but but well, like, Arsenal guys are playing very well. I'm not saying this like in a like in a hundred percent comfortable way, but I think I uh, they have a game in hand too. I experience the problem. Yeah, I'm so sick of that. Because that I, I, I game in hand, guys, they've See, been holding on to that. You don't yeah. win the Champions League, you don't win no trophies at all. Okay, I thought you were just going to say if you don't win the Premier League, no, but you win the Champions League. Champ has to go or not? No, no, no. no you, right. guys, you guys are going to win the Champions go? League. I'll tell you when you're going to win the Champions League. Well, I think 2024 or 2025, you're going to win the Champions League. <laughs> I think so. You know why? I'll tell you later. Everybody just ignored you. I'll tell them later. <laughs> so what he's achieved compared to where, where, how long he's been there, yeah. it doesn't add up. You get what I'm saying? That's yeah. the argument I make for that. In terms of Guardiola, he's one, he's one of the not Premier League, but if Guardiola, for, it, for, for me, I see it like for our club as well and for him, he's missing that to take it to the next level. For us as a team, so we can step up to the way like Real Madrid and stuff mm. like that are. And for Guardiola no. to be talked about. Did you like just say Real Madrid, Mohamed? Bro, what did you just say? Relax, man. Bro, what did you just say? No way. Straight up. I don't think That's in our lifetime. not going to be at Real Madrid. Man City would ever be at Real Madrid level in our lifetime. No, 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 no. But I'm saying, so. but I'm saying, but I'm saying like to get to that level and then, but obviously they were, but they will have to continue. They will have to be consistent in that, in winning well, Champions League. Of the Champions League, of the Champions League. But I'm saying. You got to catch up to Ajax first. Now we'll be in the talk <laughs> up there. Before I can catch up to now. Yeah. Now we're in the European talk. We're dominating domestically, but we need to be for us to be in the European, which I don't feel like we are yet. Mm. But we still haven't won the Champions League. Doesn't matter if we get to the final, if we get to the semi-finals. Yeah, if it's we don't nothing, win, bro, yeah. it's not unless we win it. It's not an offense, we can't. Definitely. We can't be in that talk. You know the vibe. Let's move on, boys. Let's move on. This is the uh, the game that um, Raver's been waiting on for the past seven weeks, bro. I don't know how oh, long you have been the here Spurs for. Oh, when the Spurs go, my Chile. Tottenham versus uh, Chelsea, two 0 
Um, I've never heard of this player, Oliver Skip, whatever his name Don't is. Don't say you never heard Wallah, of him. I've never heard of him. I never, I've heard of him. Find Wallah, out. Never, nah, never. Find he's out. He's been at the club for years, bro. He's been at the youth for, but um, he went to Norwich. He's a horrendous player. He was at, that's where he got his name. Wallah, I've a horrendous player. Wallah. Wallah, I'll do if you guys didn't win this game. Wallah, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. Listen, let me say this. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to go hype up Skip Kaz. What are you saying, bro? Because the truth. No, no, no. Kaz, I've been watching this guy, Kaz, for a while, Kaz, even when he was performing at Norwich. What I'll say about this guy is Kaz. What a girl. <laughs> well, like you hyped that up for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting something. I wish Hassan was you here. You thought he's going to continue, yeah, with his attributes. No, no, no. no, no. Because he's a bodybuilder running his match. Because he's like this. Like Sandy, Sandy. You know why, Kaz? I wish Hassan was here because he bumped Felix like Joel Felix like this. I was going to ask you this. Who do you think is. Now, be serious now, yeah? Be serious. Who do you think is a better player? Oliver Skip or Joao Felix? Be <laughs> no honest, Ola. Ola, be honest. <laughs> so I wouldn't even listen no, with no, no, who do you think is a better player? Be honest, man. Boys, boys. Joao Felix or what, cuz? We've been waiting on you, Joao Felix. What did he do to you? Everybody here but was saying, Abdullah Hassan, they, they all they didn't, didn't come today because of Joao Felix. That's why they didn't come. <laughs> what has he done? He's a baller. Yeah, but what has he done? No, no, but what has anyone in Chelsea done? Ask yourself that. The first minute, he takes the ball, goes around, and passes back to Tottenham. Have you seen that? No, I haven't seen that. No, you seen that ball? See first minute. First minute of the game. Don't rob me. Hey, don't rob me of this. Mo- don't rob us of this moment. Because yeah. Wallah, every week I come here, we lose. Nah, nah, Sandy. Every week I come here, we lose. I want to so talk about that. So you say Skip is better than Ja Felix? Let's uh, he's better. Why are you better? Anyways, Wallah, boys, ignore it. Forget, forget that football. question Let's was ever asked. Please. Yeah. Bro, what football do we play? Christian yeah, Romero. Christian Romero, solid World in the class back. the back. Don't tell me Chelsea's not World in class. form. Let's not try and class. speak, all right, boys. Just let yeah, them like speak, all right. Give them some time, give, give them some time to speak. Yeah, yeah, we'll use time. Bro. Sharif, Sharif, Sharif. I don't <laughs> let them, let them <laughs> Thank speak you, with the team. Kaz, he won a World Cup, Kaz. World he was the center. That's World, class, <laughs> World class ankle breaker, all right. That's what he used to say. No, no, stop, stop, stop. You need that in football, Kaz. Yeah, you need a lot of red cards, all right. Bro, Kai Havertz was pressing him. This guy was shaking on the ball. Nah. He shook like this. Kai Havertz could have been on the ball. All he knows he, what he, all he does is go through people and gets up. All I see is ankles. Every time I see him, all I see is ankles. All I see. Nah, 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 Shout nah, out nah. to my boy Zia. Just sort of. Nah, nah, we had a, we had a game. solid, we had a solid game. We we what played well in the back. Best the second half, game. second half performance, unbelievable. And just after that first goal, we just transformed into another team. I remember what's his name. Uh, right before this game, you you were saying we're the kind of team that gives. Uh, Chelsea way out, yeah? No, not Chelsea. Any uh, team, any yeah, manager yeah. that's looking on his way out, yeah. you just give him some extra life. Yeah, Allah. Graham Potter didn't didn't stand a chance for line this nah, game. Yeah, it was, it was our first time. Hey, you know, hey, first time in four years, or, uh, almost five years yeah. that we've uh, beat them. This is the first time in this stadium. In our stadium, we were there. Yeah. Uh, not even draws, they always beat us. <laughs> that's not something to say Stop like that. From <laughs> I mean, yeah, guess what? That changed. Ch- oh, Chelsea, I hate them so much. Hey, but um, <laughs> I was going to say, Kaz, you know who this game remind me of? Kaz, every time I see Chelsea first thing, bro, I miss Musa Dembele. Remember Musa Dembele oh in the my midfield? God. My favorite player of all time. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, nah, my favorite player. Some of all time. Of all time. Yeah. Of all time my favorite Guys, player of all time. How good was he, guys? Bro, he has a good player. Well, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not biased. Yeah. I'm telling you straight up. That guy is it's probably just, one of the best midfielders I've seen in my a life. A little more consistent. Wallah, well, honestly, yeah. that guy is overrated, Wallah. Wallah is overrated. Huh? Musa Dembele is overrated, Wallah. He's a quality, quality player, but people act like he's the best midfielder of all time. Bro, he's one of our best. You know, by the way, you know when, when nah, you know well, a player's crazy. quality is huh? when his teammates rate him. No, nah, I know, I know, okay. but I understand that. But people talk about Musa Dembele. Even like Kevin De Bruyne came out, so I pick him. Yeah, yeah, I know, bro. He's, he's a quality player. Boy. He's a quality player. That's what I'm saying, but you, he's a Tottenham legend. Huh? No way, he's a Tottenham legend. No way, he's a Tottenham legend. <laughs> Look, bro. But he just threw a statement saying best best player he's ever seen. What was it? No, no, his favorite. His favorite. Favorite. favorite could but be. How did he even say that, bro? Nah, bro. He's nah, he's your favorite. Christian Eriksen was way better than him. But Eriksen was way better than him. Ericsson was way better than him. Is he better than Joao Felix? Huh? Is he better Enough than Joao Felix? Huh? Definitely. You know, full life. Bro, you're actually pushing the agenda here. You know, no, I'm not pushing the agenda. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, no, no, I'll send you a video. No, no. No, no, no. I'll, send you, I'll send you a video of all the mistakes that he did today. Thank you, Allah. It's ridiculous. The way he was striding with the ball in the Premier League, yeah. I've never seen something like that in my life. Yeah. He smashed too, bro. Come on, bro. Like, he was gliding through players. His ball players. movement was unbelievable. The way the, his quick feet. Just amazing, bro. His passes. He was actually yeah. a complete midfielder, bro. Yeah. Box to box. He just, uh, it was something unreal. Well, so is he one of the best midfielders in the Premier League? Who? Was he one of the best midfielders in the Premier League? When playing, yes. He was one of the most underrated. He was, come on. Was was underrated, yeah, say that. He was, no, he was, well, like, he was underrated, but he, well, like, people were standing over talking, 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 but he's rated, well, like. Speaking of Jorginho, when you watch your game, you just see him as an average player, but when you actually what he know what he does, 
He's, you appreciate him more. You appreciate him more. Hey, boys, he's boys, not, let's go back to the Spurs. Hey, I, I'm thinking Kaz for the rest of the season. Conte Kaz. Out. Keep reco- no, 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 not out, not out. Keep recovering. Call us, call us on Zoom. Call us on Zoom, half time. Stellini, I need him on the line. Is he, is he, is he at home or hospital? He's in Milan. After we lost in Milan, he stayed in Milan. No, is he in hospital or is he at home? <laughs> he's at home, recovering. Uh-huh. Okay. Marshall. So well, it's not that he's going to come back soon. Yeah, yeah. He can yeah. stay at uh, Milan. Wallah al It's easy to do from home, for, huh? apparently. Apparently, it's easier to do from home. <laughs> he just so much easier, Allah, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I've seen Azam do it. Conte do it. <laughs> yeah. I think we can do it too. <laughs> so we, hey, we had a great game, bro. Unbelievable. We, need, we need to speak about Chelsea. Top six, six new players in the starting lineup. Um, it was Rhys James, Thiago Silva, Lo- uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Raheem Sterling, Hakim Ziyech, and Kai Havertz. All, all in the thing. When they tell you this, this guy doesn't know what he's doing with his club, Bola. Sterling, Sterling, Sterling actually had a good game. No, he didn't. Sterling could have scored the goal. Bro. What? Well, not about, that, that's I what a lot of people say. But anyway, not, not even in charge, bro. But he's even, looking at him. No, just no, 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 no. Honestly, I don't think this guy's in charge. He's got to manage 30 players. And he's already asked big players even off the, the Champions the ES, even, even on the Bro, ESPN? he hasn't got a say, bro. I'm yeah. telling you right now. Even on the I don't think he's... Aubameyang on Aubameyang doesn't even look like he wants to come on. He's like, why... Bro, he's literally... Who told that? Somebody here on this podcast said Aubameyang has been... Taken off the list or something like that. Champions League list, yeah, he was. Yeah. What about the Premier League? No, nah, yes, he's, uh, yeah. So it's fine. Bro, but six but players know. changed from the last defeat. That's madness. Because six players is a lot of players in the starting no, lineup. No, he changes every game. Like half the team, bro. Yeah, but I tell you something. He took out the good players and he kept the losers. Enzo Fernandez and what's his name? Joe Felix. Felix. <laughs> <laughs> he's killing us a lot. Because I'm telling you, Simeone is so happy right now. <laughs> she came out, she's like, uh, dead B of a coach. She's like, yeah. This guy. I think he's lost the, the, it's lost the. Yeah, No one can tell us Chelsea's starting 11. No, no, no I, I think. Yeah, literally. I think, literally. It, no, look. Yeah. This, this speculation yeah. that, it's, that it goes higher than him and stuff. Yeah. I think, I think it is, there's, there is definitely an element of truth to it. But him individually, he's lost the dressing room. And it's not just at the. It's just. It's, it's not just a signing. Just two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just. <laughs> 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 so true. What that, you know, it's you not know just the, the players that he's brought in. Because even yeah. his structuring of the of the the formation of the team of the it's players that he's starting. It's, it's too much for it's him. It is. It is. It's, you need a world class. You need a world class coach to manage his team. And Azam remember we're making a coach that will be able to cut players. Yeah. And remember we're making the same argument. Azam when when we were talking. But as well, everyone keep everyone hungry and stuff. When Hassanem was saying how what he's done with. Brighton, it was arguing the fact yeah, that yeah, yeah. he can he can do this with Chelsea and stuff like that. Yeah. It wasn't him at Brighton, yeah. Huh? Was it him at Brighton? Yeah, it was him. It was him. It was him. You think so? How how are Brighton right no, now? No, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, well, like, yeah, they actually are a good team. But to be fair, no, but I'm saying he was he was unbelievable. But he's used to coaching players that are like have something to Definitely. prove and go out there. But we were saying to Hassanen, how can he take that next jump? That was the question into that the top and has and has like was we talk about him he has no tactics every player he signed every single one of them starts straight away the next day signed but he didn't sign no, those no. players that's huh? the thing that's no, what we're saying the thing is that we don't understand well, what's the tactic behind this bro yeah, he's, yeah he's got nothing bro like bro like every manager you know Conte when we when we broke it in the first game formation change you're seeing something bro i don't see anything that this guy's doing that is like this is what Potter does I, no one knows is he a defensive mid, uh, coach attacking we don't know what yeah, it is. Chelsea have not won any of their last eight Premier League away games. That's their worst run since 2001. It's a little part of me that if he doesn't do anything in the Champions League, I think he might be gone by the end of the season. He's, He's gone regardless. regardless. But yeah. I, I think they want to keep him. Yeah, just nah, to if he does one in the Champions League, his Champions League is the only oh, wait, tournament. The That's League. the only revival. Nah, he has only. a better chance of getting to the top four than winning the Champions League. No, no, no. Of course, what lie? How is he going to win the Champions League? He's as close to the bottom relegation as the top four. No, no, but he can't win. The, it's impossible to win the Champions League. Well, if, if you heard the talk around there too, allow the same thing. Well, uh, like two years ago, to imagine, imagine the beginning of the season, we were saying uh, Chelsea going to win the Champions League. Everyone said, you're crazy. And they won it. Anyways, how long how long and, um, are these owners going to back him? Like, just... End of the season, 100%. End of the, the thing season. Is, Azam, end of the season. Sack him, who are they going to get? The question is, how long yeah. is he going to back the owners for? Because he's going to expose them one day. Oh, okay. He's going to expose them one day. Yeah, for everything they did Allah to him. He's going to he's he's gonna get a big payout when he gets fired. Like, oh, Allah. How long did he sign? How long did he sign? Five years. Say, Wallah, they gave him five years. Because, t- what did I tell you? First, oh, these clubs, it doesn't really matter, this stuff for them. They'll, they'll, no, but, but they'll, they'll, they'll pay him out on the leg. They signed him as a head coach, and then two weeks or three weeks ago, I think they promoted him, they gave him another title or something like that. It's not really clear what they're doing with him, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, that's true. We don't know what exactly what he is. That's a mad thing. Right? But anyways, there's many losers in that squad a lot. Let's move on. Moving on. Manchester United versus Newcastle. Newcastle. Let's talk about this team that's, that's yeah, celebrating yeah, like they yeah, won the yeah, Champions League or something. Yeah, well, like, embarrassing. Huh? That's a big win. What a trophy. 
Luckily, he does everything and then he will lose the ball. He came up he across, the wrong he came up across Wan Bissaka. This guy, when uh, Ten Hag came in, this guy was wasn't even in his plans. Because Wan Bissaka has been fired while he's no, come yeah, back. But he hasn't even been well, after fired. the World Cup. He, all of a sudden, he got his respect back. He's got his chance, and every time he goes out there, you can see this guy's playing for a lot of players are like that too, bro. For his life, bro. Even Luke Shaw. I feel like there's a, there's a turned, few players that have come back in his career, bro. Just I, like that. Ten Hag, you know, Ten Hag has seen it. What's up with Ten Hag? Leave the guy alone, man. Ten Hag. Let me leave the guy alone. Ten Hag. So, hey, you're a Man United fan, yes? That's the thing. That's the thing. So but, but, but are you saying Ten Hag is not is not good? I said now you're swallowing. Now you're swallowing your this tongue. Guy yeah, the club, bro. Yeah, this guy look, changed look, the club, bro. This guy changed the whole I club. Yeah? Yeah. You have to acknowledge that he's been carried right now, like by some players. He's been carried by some players. Oh God. Let's be on, honest, bro. man. Casemiro and Rashford. Well, like They're carrying Casimiro it. Casemiro is carrying it. Yeah, every coach be, be, uh, before him didn't do shit. They didn't do shit, bro. They, they couldn't. They didn't know how to get the best out of him. Well, Look like, at him now. Casemiro, what? What? Casemiro. But Casemiro, doing right that's now, the best signing they made probably after Van Persie. Casemiro is the goat. This is the worst. Anyways, Amir, wanna get your your take? Because uh, there's one thing. I think the last time you were here, you were talking shit about Eric Ten Hag. He's done very well, and we, we have we have like the ability to win the league if we continue playing like this. We have a chance, yeah, I need to, to, to somehow just, I don't know, grab something. But anyway, about yesterday's game, I just want to address a couple of players. What's his name? Um, Anthony? Wallah, I've done a complete 180 on this guy. This guy is the silliest player, Wallah. Al-Azim. He does not, like, his decision-making is the absolute worst. He's good at 1v1s, yes, but he doesn't do it. Wallah, exactly like Abdullah said, Wallah, I had to say my bad. He doesn't do it to actually get past his opponent. He does it to excite the fans. TikTok. When he went past uh, Dan Byrne on the, on, the, on the right wing, he went past him once, twice, three times, four times, literally just doing a back and forth for no reason, where he can take him on once and go and put a ball in or something. But that, I mean, I mean, let's that, ask, a, that let's ask you a question, yeah? What does he have in common uh-huh. with Weghost and what's his name? Sabitza. What do they, all three of them have in common? Uh, the all um, uh, the bold guy signing? Exactly, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer. <laughs> Correct answer. <laughs> no, oh, no, what was the point of that? Anyway, yesterday, I said, <laughs> didn't he sign Casemiro? Yesterday, yesterday. No, he didn't sign Casemiro. Casemiro wasn't his signing, by the way. Yesterday, yesterday's work horse, well, like, there was a little, just a, a little glimpse of something when he took that shot from outside the box with his left foot. I actually didn't know he had that in his locker or life, but he had a decent game. But I, I still don't change my opinion on him. He's not, a, he's not, a, he's not our striker, well, like, I mean, I think Anyone else would be way better to replace. And another thing, Wan Basaka is one of the best right backs in the league. Wallahi, no one can tell so me that. So far, so far. This season. Because Madrid the only wants thing, him now. Thing, That's Wallahi, how good he's been playing. The only thing, the only thing he needed to, to strengthen was exactly his ball game. That's the only thing, Wallahi. That, everything else is on point. He's one of the best tacklers like, in the world, Wallahi. I mean, not even in the league. That's so obvious, bro. Cause he's just come back now, bro, for a few games. What's he saying, bro? Yeah. Before that, everyone was criticizing him, like saying that he has nothing to his game. No, but ball playing but is besides, he's shocking. Besides uh, just tackling, everyone. That, that's what. No, but that's, that's the whole criticism about him. To put Sam no, 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 look, he's played well, like but that? but this guy to say he's one of the best fullbacks in the whole. Right no, nah, I don't think in the world. But the hell is it is, It's the fact that you know, Dalla when Dalla was playing well, we started off the season and Dalla was having an amazing season yeah. until the World Cup. When the World Cup came. And then, uh, and Wan Bissaka had his chance to actually prove himself um, after the World Cup. Like he started starting Wan Bissaka. Clearly, something happened in training where Wan Bissaka was performing well. It's the same thing with Luke Shaw was performing well. Exactly, so and I just mentioned that too, Ahmed. Before I said both of those players, since they've come back, their self-esteem has gone up. You can see their their, their confidence is there. Yeah, they're, they're playing well. But for you just to, to to you know what I mean to take that next jump straight away and say that they're one of the best. He's, he's the best. Yeah, he's the best. Like after three, after, games, yeah. after three, four games, come on, bro. That's like me saying the same thing about D- Dalot when he was ki- was when he was killing it before the World Cup. Anyways, that makes sense. Amber, enough about one Bissaka, Allah Azim. Don't worry about one Bissaka. I just want to ask you one more thing. Right now, Hassi, you won the the Carabao Cup. You're in contention, Hassi, for the for the Europa League, and you're in the FA Cup, and you probably have a, a good chance of uh, of winning of the league. Winning the league no if way. Arsenal and, and Messi slip up. What are you expecting? Either it's either they they slip up and they give someone the the Premier League or they slip up and they give us the Europa League. It's one or the other. Well, I don't see Arsenal doing both. No, no way. So for us, 
I know that we're going to be guaranteed. Well, if we continue like this, we're guaranteed Europa League. Because I don't see any other team in that. In FA that Cup locked that in. Besides we're getting that too. And Arsenal. Besides Barca and Arsenal. Those were the only two yeah, yeah, that can do this with us. Yeah, those were the only two. In the league, City to draw one more time or lose one more time, we're right behind them. Like, we're right behind them. And then Arsenal, if, if they do the same, like, they can't slip up. I don't see us slipping up because we don't have the pressure that they have. We didn't expect this at all. Arsenal didn't expect it. Because of the start they had, everyone started having these expectations now. Like, but fans will ask for the Premier Like, we have to win the Premier League or the Europa League now. Like, no one's going to back, back down from that. So they have that pressure. City has the pressure of being the yani, constant winners of the Premier League. So they, they, they need to win it again. And if they don't, they need to win the Champions League. Us... We didn't have shit. We had a, we have our trophy right now, the, the first one in six years. We're we we're, we're content if we just win this. We won it now, and now we're third, and we finish the season third, and we're Champions League next season. I don't think many fans will be dif- disappointed with that. And we have an advantage, Amr. To add to your point, we actually don't have to play City in the in the Premier League. We don't have to play City no, anymore. I realize United fans, they just they 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 they, they, they just hop. Yeah, they just hop. They're like, oh, uh, expectation is this, but we're content with this, but we really want this. Yeah. Every every Arsenal fan is just yeah. everyone's just jumping like this. What do you want? What's the expectation? So if we just we just win the Carabao Cup, that's it. That's all we're done. But win the league, we have the league to win the Premier League. Cup. No way you're gonna win the league. Be realistic, bro. Come on, man. I'm being realistic. Yeah, we're that's how your season is judged, bro, by expectation. Bro. Marcus Rashford. Anyways, listen, boys, we're gonna finish off this. Boys, don't 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 answer back to him. But Abel, finish off what you want to say. I just want to address the last thing that these guys said. Listen, we're not jumping or anything. At the start of the season, what were we doing? We, I see, Ten Hag just came. We were hoping for a change in the team. That's all we wanted. We wanted to see a good playing team. Doesn't matter where we finished. It obviously, it had to be in the top four. The only expectation we had is that our team starts playing properly, like a proper Man United team, like how we should be playing. And Ten Hag does well. That's all we wanted. Now trophies are coming with it. Of course, now it raises the expectations. And now we're saying, oh, we have a chance to win the Premier League. We have a chance to u- win uh, Europa League. We have a chance to win another cup. These things come along if, you, if, you're, if you're having a good run. But anyway, that's, that's about it. Big all facts. Enjoy, enjoy that cup. Enjoy that cup. We'll call you uh, another time. Big Abhi. point, Azam. I know what, I'm gonna say, uh, what I'm trying to say is... Glory, glory, man United. <laughs> the song that was made for Wayne Rooney and Cristiano Ronaldo. Your, yes, season, exactly. your, Thank your you. season is always defined by do you meet your expectation? So if you don't meet that expectation, say for example, the expectation changed, that means you gotta accomplish that, bro. Like Arsenal, for example, yeah. Arsenal now, obviously, they they've they they they, they their um, aim was say to get top four, yeah. yeah. For example, oh, yeah, now obviously they've seen the momentum, how they've been playing, and obviously now they can achieve uh, to win the league. Mm. Now, if you don't win the league, don't you feel a little disappointed with the season? In a way, yeah. In a way, you do because, because you had it. Because yeah. halas, now your mindset actually changed. You I said, still don't think we're gonna. This win is an expectation, but regardless of that, that's mm. still that's now that's now. The, uh, There's a high chance. Yeah, the expectation now because now the fact that you don't comes to the, to, to the end of the, yeah. the season when games are crucial. I don't think we experienced enough as city to pick up those points. Yeah, yeah, but but, but regardless, of, but, but, but regardless, you gotta of you gotta remember that the yeah. youngest team. But you get my point. Yeah. My point is your I expectation yeah. is there. Yeah. So if you don't achieve that, you guys are gonna look at it like, this is a disappointment now. Like if we are, if you guys don't win the league, it's not Se- an ultimate. Second. It's not an ultimate disappointment, but no, but because is, that's how say, I judge it. Right? No, no, Straight no, no, up, no, no, like, no, no, like I see my expectation Feelings is change towards the now season. Now my expectation, yeah. my expectation, I always said this, even Azam, you know, I've always said Champions League, nothing else, nothing else, Ayo. and I've always said that, you know. Yeah. Now if we don't win the Champions League for me, even if we win the Premier League, you're disappointed. I'm disappointed yeah. because my expectation. What, has a, what a standard! Yeah. What a standard! I want to speak. I want to yeah. speak. I want to speak on your standard. I want to speak on your standard. Arsenal fans came into the start of the season saying we're gonna make top four. Things change. No okay, one we ever can said that we're going to win they the were, Premier League. Yeah, no, no one thought that. No. But your expectations change. Yeah. Yeah. And then they say, we're going to go for the league. But yeah. let's just say that they finish the league second or third. Mm. They could look back and say, hey, listen, we aim for we aim for fourth. We finish second. That's still a great season, bro. No, that's a bad season. No, that's a bad season. No, it's not. That's a bad season. Disappointing, but they... Of course. They, nah. that's like Ryan, that's your ideal Arsenal. But, I don't, but a lot of Arsenal fans okay, right now... I, has, let if let me ask, be you're looking at the Arsenal squad yeah. and looking at the starting lineup from the start of the season. Yeah. Wait, did you think or even have a thought of okay. Arsenal winning the league? I don't care no. about the beginning of the no. season. Right now, well, they're on top. Disappointment because they had an eight-point lead. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Still but still, goal. exactly. The thing is, uh, doesn't work like that, boys. Bro, they haven't been in it's, like, it's, like, it's like Liverpool saying, "Oh, we almost won the quadruple. Let's celebrate." No, 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 no. no, no. no. Hassan, no. this is how, this is how it no, is. End of the day, they, hey, no, no, yeah. they're professionals. They ha- this is their job. At the start of the season, the the board came to Arteta, told him make top four. This is the expectation. Mm. If he does make it, if he does win the league, 
Momba is getting signed a bonus check. Ryan, but that, that, that's, that's bonus. Yeah, that's but that's top. But that's what the club expects from him. That's as what coach, they expect. Right? That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm talking about you, I'm Arsenal fan, right now. If we're going to be honest. The one family. They want the Premier League and they 100%. know they can get it. And yes. that's the expectation in their head. Mm. And Fennan, the way that Arsenal is playing right now, they can. Yeah. It's, a, it's something yeah. achievable. It's something achievable. That's, that's my point. It's something achievable. Yeah, okay. the, the truth is coming yeah, out. I'm hearing the truth come out. He said I, they deserve I don't know what's your, what's your, what's your <laughs> phone there? I, I want to bring it back to Manchester United. I think Manchester United have exceeded the expectations already because yes. because, because, because of the bullshit yeah. that's been not going really, on. Not really, Anzam. Not really. Yes, bro. Not really. Really. Wallahi, if I asked you just three months ago, Wallahi, you will be talking shit, bro. Relax, relax. A trophy? Well, Wallahi, bro. A trophy? And you're in a good position in the league. I got trophies. With all the bullshit with Cristiano Ronaldo, with all the bullshit with the squad. Come on, bro. That's Carabao Cup, bro. Relax, Relax bro. Cause the cup's a cup in the difference. That's your first silver <laughs> since Jose Mourinho, bro. Huh? The difference between them, Azam, the difference between <laughs> Arsenal and, and Man United, Man United now, the biggest difference is depth. What well, I think you mentioned before was like, I think you said something about Arsenal not, not being able to win both the Europa League and the Premier League. So they're, they're going like, to scramble in one. So I think a lot of that has got to do with depth. So I think... United having more of, of more players, more depth, because that's what it comes down to at the end of the season. Bro. Experiences so like Casemiro, yeah, bro. And, and, the, and the best example of that is players. like Liverpool. Liverpool with no no depth. They ran with that same team all the way to the end, and then yeah, they got a good run, bro. And now look at them now. They're all dead. If, if Man United, if Man finish the season like this, this is a very successful season for United, Azam. Because, but, but, but why? Because From where they were to but that's the expectation. Now. I think they, they've even exceeded the fans' expectation. I'll be honest, with you. Ten Hag, no one expected Ten Hag to do this. Yeah. But my point was a clear word there. That's expectation. That's the expectation. Mm. Now with Arsenal, the expectation is higher, bro. With Arsenal, they want to win the league. They actually want to win the league. Now, Arsenal is just it's just the league. But if like even if you if you flop the league and win Europa, but I think some people will still be. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Nah, I, well, I reckon it's a, that's a high one season. For I think so. Team. No, I don't think so. I think the league because they they they're it's ahead. So close, of, they're so close. Yeah, no, I, but they, I just they, think the experience. What I'm saying, experience, yeah. it matters. Yeah. But I agree with you, Ryan. In a way, I get what you're saying. But like, I get what you're saying. Where yeah. they're, they're still gonna look at it like we achieved our goal. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I, how I look at it is, I'm just being realistic from the fan perspective and what I see on social media and everything. For them, it's like winning the league is it's crazy. Yeah, they it's have a big to win. Part of Arsenal. So the f- yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like bro. it's it's like similar to us needing to win the Champions League. But yeah. that's well, it's, equi- it's equivalent. Well, I'm, imagine if they if they win the league and next year, what are the expectations? That you exactly. think they can? You get what I'm saying? You think they'll be definitely, contenders? definitely. I think if they win the league, the board will back yeah, up right. Arteta like crazy. Me, I think depth. even I think United's I got think some crazy potential. What will that do to the morale of the team? I think, if, I think if, next if year everybody's going to be uh, if Arsenal, if Arsenal league, slip up this year it's going to be United it's not going to be City no if they slip up this year Arsenal it's going to be United because watch watch well, like next year you're not going to be able to tell who's going to win Manchester City are going to be Manchester City Arsenal after this form of the season Chelsea they're definitely going to sack this guy they're going to bring a manager that can work with this massive squad that they have Liverpool who knows they must sign some, some players Wallah, it's going to be a hard one to call. Uh, uh, Next year. Tottenham. Sorry, Wallah, I, I had to leave it there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Tottenham. Tottenham, as usual, as usual, but Tottenham, you're going to be saying fourth, fourth. They're going to go fourth, that's good, fourth. Fourth. <laughs> fourth, you signed half, half the world, fourth, fourth. Hey, by the way, we are back <laughs> in the top four, by the way, guys. They've been, aiming, they've been aiming for fourth for like uh, 15, 20 years. I well. always get it, nigga. <laughs> Anyways, boys, before, before we finish off, <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo scoring hat tricks in the Saudi League. Messi just broke 700 oh, goals. Yeah, like Shout out Messi, bro. Go. I'm wearing a Real Madrid shirt and I'm clapping for him. Oh. Messi is a goat, Wallah. Messi, oh. 700 goals. I tell you, they said on Monday he's going to win the best uh, FIFA player of the year. Is it? He's going to win it. Messi. Messi. And I'm calling here right now, he's going to win the Ballon d'Or too. Inshallah, he does. Inshallah, he does. Yeah. What, is, that a bad, is that a bad thing? It's not a bad thing. I tell you, the whole thing is fixed. The whole thing is fixed. How is it fixed? It's fixed because I'm telling you right now, he's going to win this. Because he's he going to win, win the Ballon d'Or. No, it's not that, bro. They like him like that. Guys, hey, like I'm going to agree I mean, with did you. Did you see him this morning, bro? So, 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 so Neymar. Even Mbappe like that. Oh my God! This season, uh, this season, Ronaldo is gonna score ninety-one goals, cuz no, no one, no one, one has ever done it before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one has done it before. By the way, Messi no, no. has scored, has scored more than Messi ninety goals, bro. What do you no, say? Ninety-one goals. 91 goals. Score. How many has Messi scored? Gotta score more than that. That's what I'm saying. You said ninety-one. <laughs> yeah, said more than ninety-one. <laughs> no, he's gonna score more than ninety-one. Anyways, but he's gonna score more goals. Oh And last one, last one, boys. Last one, Ange Postacoglu, boys. We have to give this guy one last Celtics. Very, very good. What What's his name, bro? The Japanese, bro. What's the Japanese good. player's name, bro? He had an amazing game. By the way, Azam, let me say one more thing before we do your thing. What happened to Real Madrid against Atletico? Because we were tired. You seen the play? <laughs> <laughs> tired? Wrap it That's up. That's the excuse? Batter it, Kaka. No, That's what I mean by Real Madrid does not make sense. I'm not going to lie, but after when, that game... When, when, the, when the anthem of the, the Champions League comes on, they took like... There's this. something else. You know what Ancelotti did? Ancelotti didn't want to start any of the players, our players, the Champions League players. 
But the management said, oh, you have to start the main players like Vinicius and all these guys. They didn't want to do it. No, no, <laughs> they were tired. The boy, they were tired. Nobody wanted to run. You watched that game? Did you watch that game? Nobody wanted to run. And then they waited until uh, until Atletico scored. They brought in an 18 years old. He scored the goal. That's it. Who, who's that kid, bro? He's Alvaro cool. Rodriguez, cuz. Yeah, second, second, second. Well, he was so happy when he scored. Nobody celebrated with him. He's on. <laughs> have you seen that jump, cuz? Have you seen that jump? He's only 18 years old. Anyways, quickly on Ange, bro. Do you think uh, if Brendan Rodgers... I mean, yeah, if he, if he gets... Uh, it's time. Gets a move. Well, do you think he could do well in the Premier League? I do, Azam. You know why? I think he'll survive in the Premier League. I think this move of, of Harry Suda, the, the Aussie centre-back, moving to Leicester, I think that's somewhat... I don't, like, I don't know if you guys are going to get what I'm saying, but... It's kind of there's a green line in there. There's a green line in there. And I feel like there's a little door that's open now where that moves kind of seem more seem more realistic now. That that Postecoglou might Leicester do. Doesn't a get relegated. Huh? That's yeah. if Leicester, Leicester doesn't get relegated. Yeah. Yeah. If he survives, I reckon. Yeah, if they, they survive, I think the I think a move they now is more realistic boy, than ever. Madison, man. Madison is elite. Than ever, than ever. What about Liverpool? Maybe he can manage Liverpool. Nah, relax, bro. Big job. That's a big job, bro. That's it's not a big job, Allah. That's a grand Right now, Tottenham take him, Allah. Tottenham, Allah. He might do something there. Uh, madness. Uh, huh? End the podcast. I think I think you should go for Liverpool. <laughs> you want to do the intro, uh, the outro? Assalamu yeah. alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm gonna hate the whole thing. I got the sauce. I got the. Yes, I got the sauce. I got the sauce. I got the juice. I got the you juice. What the niggas look confused? <laughs> I got the soul. I got the soul. Yeah, I got the soul. Yeah, I got the. I got the soul. I got the soul. Nigga, I got the soul. I got the soul. I got the juice. Watch. I got the juice. Watch. I got the soul. I got the soul. Yeah, I got the soul.